A Chinese-constructed and stocked referral hospital has been at the center of Kenya's fight against COVID-19. The facility, which was commissioned in late October 2019, has been the country's main isolation center since the virus was discovered in Kenya. Sejitian's Enoch Sekolia has more. These doctors and nurses have been helping patients battling COVID-19. Before 2020, they had read books and studied theories about coronaviruses. But for the last 12 months, You've not had any symptoms, eh? they have been helping real COVID-19 patients with some falling sick themselves. The virus was first detected in Kenya in March last year. And since then, I have followed these healthcare workers as they interact and treat people battling the pandemic. These are our isolation wards. How many do you have? We have eight isolation wards, mm -hmm. whereby we have put both confirmed patients mm -hmm. and suspected patients. Mm -hmm. They are here, but we have separated them. The confirmed are on one side mm -hmm. and suspect are on the other side. Medicine is a calling. And I know being a frontline healthcare worker, uh, it's my duty to my fellow human beings and to other Kenyans. Kenyatta University Teaching Referral and Research Hospital has been Kenya's primary facility for isolation and management of patients. The pandemic hit Kenya just four months after the hospital opened to members of the public. The hospital is the brainchild of former Kenyatta University Vice Chancellor Professor Olive Magenda. We had the vision of coming up with a very good hospital, which I think we have. Uh, what we did know is that maybe at a time like this, it would, really, it, you know, it would be very useful and, and um, very timely. This hospital is the most modern, up-to-date facility to be seen in East and Central Africa in recent times. And it has provided the government with space for the isolation and treatment of COVID-19 patients. The 650-bed hospital is equipped with state-of-the-art medical amenities and the facility constructed by the China Changshi Corporation for International Economic and Technical Corporation at the cost of 99 million US dollars is changing Kenya's health care. This was made possible after the Exim Bank of China funded its construction and supplies. The hospital employs 40 doctors and more than 100 other medical staff. We did hope to make it one of the world-class uh, hospitals, uh, but right now I think we are concentrating on this particular crisis that we are in. The facility specializes in oncology, trauma and orthopedics, and renal treatment, among other services. The facility currently has 24 IC units for COVID-19 patients. Eight for patients suspected of having COVID-19 and 16 ICU beds for patients who do not have coronavirus. These units are supported by an oxygen plant that has been the facility's lifeline during the pandemic. All the oxygen used in the hospital comes from here. Oxygen therapy has been key while managing COVID-19 patients. The facility has also supplied oxygen to nearby hospitals that do not have the capacity to produce their own. Enoxicolia, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.